Well, folks, welcome back to the channel. Doug with Stacking Investments here. Uh, today's video, I'm going to show you a lot of coins, 20 to be exact, that I am sending up to Daniel at Coin Help Yield. I've already sent him an email with the date, mint mark, whether it was a raw coin or. And then I did a separate list. Well, I did Carson Cities in a separate list, which I have eight. And then I made another list of 12 other date coins. And I listed the date, the uh, slab company, PCGS, NGC, Annex, whatever, and the grade on the slab. And asked him if he wanted me to send him up for his evaluation to purchase. And he sent back an email, yes. So make sure you watch uh, Daniel's, uh, he may or may not do a video on evaluating these, <clears throat> but he, uh, more than likely, I will sell these to Daniel. And if you're interested in any of these, you'll have to watch uh, Daniel's videos and you'll have to make sure you watch his Portsmouth coin um, website to see if these coin, when these coins get listed. Uh, he may not list them all. He may have buyers for certain coins already, so some of them may not show up on his website. <clears throat> I've sent Daniel coins uh, many times, and only a couple didn't get listed on his website that I sent up, but he had uh, buyers that were waiting on those certain coins. I'm filming this on Monday morning. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. I will actually put these in the in the mail on Tuesday, so it probably won't be until sometime next week. Um, by the time Daniel, by the time the post office delivers these, he looks at them, makes me an offer. You know, we work out the details and uh, finalize everything, so it may not be till next week. But I just want to briefly go through the coins. Uh, we'll start with the raw CCs. Got a 78 cc. I got another 78 cc. I have a 90 cc. This batch of raw cc's is where, if you watch my uh, video on my girlfriend doing a Morgan date set on a 50 to 100 dollar a month budget you will see that we added or we moved the 90 cc and put in a, a 78 cc in the cc slot of that album moved the 90 cc up to the 90 spot and the 78 cc come from this batch of cc's that i have so we got 90 cc i'll show you not bad coins. This one, I think, is that a scratch on a coin? Yeah, I think this coin has. This coin has a, a couple scratches through it, so this is damaged. So, but even though it's damaged. There is collectors out there on low budgets that don't have the budget to get um, pay up for a coin. And these are, and even that one with the, let me bring that back up. Even though that's got the gouges in it, it's still a decent looking coin. You know, it's a CC, it's a good filler for somebody on a budget. So that's those. And then the graded coins I'm sending up. We'll start with this uh, 78 cc. Very fine details, clean. I've done a video on this. I was doing VAM searches. It's a 78. It is the Carson City. I did a VAM search. This is a top 100 VAM six uh, double leaves. That file line on the cap and the CC is on the list, and I can't remember what this 161 PCGS means. 
I don't know what I did um, there, but let's look. Let's get the old loop out and I'll show you. And see, this is not the VAM6 top 100 isn't wasn't attributed on this coin but it is this is one i was thinking about sending in and get reholdered with the attribution key markers for the double leave for the doubling on the leaves is the cc the c on the right is actually stamped into the uh, bow the, the c above the o in dollar look straight up and then you can see where the C is placed it's stamped into the bow and let's get one of these other ones I'll show you see how the C is lower that right C is lower <coughs> and on this one the C is up there stamped into the, the bow and the other key marker is on her cap there is a die file line that runs through and is hold on a second let me look to find it okay I may not be able to get it to show up on camera okay the die file line is um, where the where this little indentation is here on the back of the cap right there it's like a V there's a yeah there we go there's a good shot of it there's a dot file line that comes in and goes over to the top of the poppy and then if you look at the leaves the lower set of leaves you can see the doubling on the leaves on the lower two leaves down here but those are the key marker and if you look close up here um little thread off of my glove there is pointing to the where the dot file line is Let's see if i can get that to show back up it's a little harder through the plastic but it's there and and then these uh, lower leaves are doubled so that's one coin that's going up <clears throat> I don't know if Daniel will have a buyer for that even though it's not attributed or if he will send it in and get it attributed but it is a VAM6 top 100 <clears throat> so we'll set that one I'm going to keep these in order and we have another 1878cc MS61 Got some toning really nice coin really nice coin what is this one this is a vam 9 has dot file lines on the reverse uh this vam doesn't add any value it's just <clears throat> i was vam searching and since i since i was able to uh narrow it down i went ahead and just made notations for my own uh benefit i've actually had these coins out at the flea market <clears throat> most of my regular I mean I have a huge following uh, coming to see what I bring out to the market from my collection and sales are really good you have to watch out every once in and every so often you get what I call the bottom feeders uh, this is 1880cc VF25 and, uh, 1880 see the cc there pretty nice looking coin for the for the grade and uh i'm gonna talk about bottom feeders so i remember a video i did a little while back i had some uh i had a franklin set in a capital holder and i took it out and uh put a price on it and uh pretty much the minimum price that i'll take for it and i've had a lot of interest in it but I had, uh, I was at another flea market on a Wednesdays. It's a Wednesday market, and a guy came along and said, well, he'd give me, uh, his price was basically just under 300 for that 35-coin set. This comes out to a little over $8 a coin, and I kind of just, and what turned me off on this guy is he said, 
Well, he'd give me that much so that he could make a dollar or two on the on each coin, and I just laughed them off. I just, when you're out there dealing with coins, don't be a bottom feeder. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff just turns me off, and I don't actually want, I actually don't want somebody like that as a customer. Anyways, what are we looking at? We're looking at another 1890cc uh, PCGS VG8. 1890. I said I've showed all these coins in prior videos. That seat's cocked up a little bit. The one on the right almost touching into the bow. But pretty nice coin. And that takes care of the CCs. Then we get into... I got a 78S AU55. Pretty nice looking coin. Uh, got another 78S MS64. Really nice looking coin. Toner. Uh, then we got the uh, 1883O in a old green holder and there she is uh, this is a VAM 30 it's a dash under 8 O's tilted to the right I went as far as to look up the holder this is a gen 3.1 it was used between March of 93 to September of 98 and it's the addition of the copyright logo. So, uh, just some notes for my thing. Plus, when I was out, I could show people different things. And next up, 1884 MS63. Really nice looking coin. I know some of these are common dates, but you know. One of a nice coin. This is a BAM 7. It's got a slanted dash under the 8. Double I. Uh, this BAM does not add any value. It's just one of the variations. <coughs> Next up, 1884 MS62 BAM 1. This is the old Annex uh, soap bar holder. Got a little gold toning around the rim. Really nice coin. But it is in the... There's some people that collect these soap bar holders. Uh, sometimes a lot of people crack these out because they... A uh, lot, lot of times they'll... Not always, but people are finding that these coins will actually upgrade a solid grade higher. So this could, could potentially regrade in a PCGS or NGC as a 63. But cool coin. Then we got another 1884O MS62. When you look, is that an O? Yeah, 84O. Both of them are 62. Look how clean her cheek is. And look how beat up that one is. That's why I think this one would actually upgrade. This should be a 63. <clears throat> got some. Even at 62, it's got more scratches in the field. It's a better looking coin, even with the toning. <coughs> Look at the reverse. So, that's those. Next up, 1885, MS63, and an NGC. So... Again, these coins are going up to, I'm sending these out, going to the post office uh, Tuesday morning to send these up to Daniel, coin help you. 1886, MS63, it's a VM6, high six, uh, no added value because of that. Nice looking coin overall. A little toning on the wing into the upper right on the reverse. Nice looking coin. <clears throat> then we have an Annex uh, Yellow Slab 1886 MS63. That's pretty solid for the grade. 
nice looking coin. Again, my main collection and my album collection has better coins than are what it than are what than the coins in these slabs. So that's why I'm willing to part with them because I have a better coin in my in my main uh, Morgan Date Met Mark set. It's an 87 MS64 in the old green holder. Nice looking coin, solid for the grade. A lot, a lot of times these are cracked out also to get, uh, you know, either a 64 star or plus, or possibly a grade up. Show you the back, the reverse, got a little goldish toning. This is the old slab. Remember the other one? It had the copyright logo down here. I'll uh, maybe back up to that one. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Wrong coin. Now the labels look the same. The one I showed you before had the uh, copyright logo, so you can see this one doesn't have it. That's why I made these notations. It's a VAM 20, double ear, near date. Pin Eagle right wing, no added value for the VAM. The holder is a Gen 2.2. It was done from December 89 to January 90. So this was a short run holder. So pretty cool. What are we saying? A Pin Eagle on the right wing. Let's see if I can loop in on that. Let me find it first. And There's a, if you look, oh, I should have got my holder. If you look at the eagle, I'm going to try to put it, the pin, what do they call it, pin. I'm trying to go right center of the screen. It's going to be the one, if you look at his body and then count the wings, the main part of the wing, and you go from the bottom, one, two, three, it's between the third and fourth uh, big feathers of his wing there and you can see that looks like a dot on the coin but that's the pin that's the pin to eagle part it's between it's on his butt on his chest and it's the one two three it's between the third and fourth uh, fe big feathers of the wing on the right I'll try to get I got the pin uh, dead center of the screen so that's uh, one of the key markers. Near date has to do with, I've explained this several times. <clears throat> if you go from the point of her neck and draw a line, imaginary line straight down to the denticles, and then you can see if you count the denticles, one, two, when you get to the third denticle, the one is starts at the space between the second and third denticle if you drew that imaginary line from the point of her neck down to the denticles and then counted one, two, and then three, you can see that one starts at the split between the second and third denticle. That's how you identify a near date. If that one is hovering over the fourth denticle, then that's a far date. And I'm not sure if I can get the, uh, the double ear part to show. Okay, the double ear is on the back side. It's on the back side of her ear. You can see that little line. There's a line in the center, like big portions of the ear, and then there's a small line. And that's where the doubling on that is. But overall, nice looking coin. I uh, did a video on picking this up. It's the 88O, Van 1B1, Harrison Stage 2, MS62, the Annex Blue Label. And what this is, is this is the uh, beginnings, well, it's stage two of the um, Scarface. And I don't remember all the details on that, but this one is 
it's a die crack that comes across and then it gives her the scar face and this is an early early die stage so this has less value but if you're doing the scar face you want to get you know everybody wants the scar face but then there's you can have the the coins in a progression from that die pair that leads up to the scar face so it's kind of cool to have see the reverse overall nice looking coin and then lastly we have 1896 ms62 vam 11 i don't recall offhand what that is. Um, no added value. Again, a lot of people in these salt bars crack them out because a lot of these coins submitted will, uh, a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times we'll get a grade bump going up to a 63. And that's a pretty clean, cheap coin for being an MS-62. It's a really nice coin. I would probably, if if I were to keep these, I would probably crack them out and send in and try to get the grade up. But I am sending these off to Daniel. So, anyways, that's the rundown of what I'm sending. Like I said, I'm sending these out tomorrow morning. I'm doing this video Monday morning. Tuesday morning, I get these in the mail to Daniel. So if he doesn't do a video on these coins, I'll just have to watch his uh, Portsmouth, Portsmouth coin uh, website to see when these coins become available for sale from him. I'll leave a link to his channel. I will leave a link to his Portsmouth coin uh, website where you can buy coins. And in the meantime, let me know your comments down below and I will see you on another one.